with Claire. Hello. Hello, Claire. Hello. And I've stolen Claire's car, well, Rob's car. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob will never get in now because I'm so little and Rob's so big. <laughs> Rob's going to get in, he's going to hit his head. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are at Kingswood today. We are doing the, no, not the straight, we're doing the advanced medium music and I'll explain, explain why later because that's a bit of a long story and I'm doing the straight pre St George and it the straight PSG is literally just for me to have like a schooling round at the session just because I need to see where I'm at um, we haven't competed for about six or seven weeks so let's hope I remember how to do a center line maybe <laughs> can I go next to this one here This is how the uh, Friday morning diet's going. We have Maltesers <laughs> and Coke.
Yes! You gotta do the PSG now. You do. You gotta do the PSG. I'm rocking Hannah's uh, lovely, what, what would you cast it as? A Sherpa, Sherpa jacket? No? I don't know, but it's warm. It's nice because apparently Kingswood is freezing cold and nobody told us. <laughs> Look at Hannah. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Are you cold, Claire? Where's Claire? I'm, I'm hiding. Are you cold? I'm alright. Hannah's cold. We're all cold. Anyway, in a super good mood because Leggy just got his qualifying score for music regionals. Um, he had to get 65%, so I think I told you that before. But I can't remember. And he got just under 68%, which is super done it. 10 out of 10. Now all I've got to do is do a pre-St. George. Don't get booked off in the temper changes. And um, yeah, you know what? I actually don't really care how we do with the PSG. I just want to, it's just schooling. I'm just schooling. Today I needed to get my score, which I've got. So all is good in the world. Yeah, except for there's no coffee here and it's cold. Apart from that, we're all good. Yeah. Okay, so I am sat here with my pre St. George um, test sheet in front of me because I know you guys really like it when I can um, one do a voiceover but also let you know the running scores as I um, go around. Okay, not the best start. I couldn't get the right leg in that corner. <laughs> beginner's problems anyway here we go so first of all i didn't get a fantastic mark in this test because i made quite a few errors but that's okay because at least i am trying i mean anyone who has an insult to say go and try and ride a pre-st george test yourself it's bloody hard so anyway great start to the test super straight center line i ride him in a little bit of shoulder four if you watch these videos you will have seen that before and then i have to put my leg on very very softly because he wants to canter all the time so he got 7.5 for that super duper coming into our extended trot little half halt and then as i turn the corner soften the head lean forward a tiny bit let the rain go a tiny bit and let him go forward i was happy with that except for i did some kind of wobbly line i don't know what mark i was meant to be going to i forgot how to test ride he got a 6.5 for that because god knows what line i was riding who knows now we're coming into our shoulder in left Nice bit of bend, keeping the rhythm, keeping him forward. He's on three tracks, meaning he gets a seven for having a good shoulder in. Into doing a, um, a circle left, eight meters. Hardest part of the test, obviously, because horses at this level don't like doing circles. Um, he got a six for that. He said he needed more collection. Then his half pass left got a six and said he needed more suppleness. But I, was, I mean, I was quite happy with that. He's not an overly supple horse. So, you know, I was happy. Anyway, same rules apply as last time. I come around the corner. I half hold. I give the rein a bit. I let him go. However, that time he got a five, which, um, I'm not sure why myself. I thought it was the same as the other, but it said above the base is slightly hollow. So I obviously let my reins go a little bit too much. FAK is transition to collector chart. I got 6.5 for that. Then we do a shoulder in, um, and he only got a six this time because it said there was no bend. And to be fair, that horse is not bending right. You can see how he goes to bend now, which he does, but I didn't have any right bend there. The circle got a six because it says his quarters out. Again, I'm just inexperienced. I don't truly know what that means. And then this half pass right got a five, which it totally deserved because God knows what line I was riding. I mean, you're literally meant to see a nice line. Like when I say a line, imagine drawing a ruler from that marker to the other marker and you should ride across that line. And yeah, it says poor positioning which I got five for, which I absolutely 1000% agree with because God knows what I was doing. The collected walk, however, got a seven. Nice to know, I can walk. The first pirouette, uh, hang on, hang on, I've lost my page. So the first pirouette got a seven, which is good. And the second pirouette got a five and says crossing behind slightly above the bit. The pirouettes are just one of those things where I have absolutely no idea what is a good pirouette. Honestly, like I can ride, I, I have been in a test with three judges, rode a pirouette both ways. One judge has given us a seven, one judge has given us a six, and one judge has given us like an eight. And I just, oh, sorry, a five. I've had a five, a six, and a seven. So 
I just, I literally ride them the same every single time. I just, I, you know, I just ask for a pirouette and there's no point in overthinking them because I, I'm, no, I'm just not 100% sure. Like judges always vary on pirouettes. Anyway, collective walk got a seven, super duper. The extended walk got a 7.5, very good. And the transition into canter got a seven. So that's a nice little collection of sevens there, especially at this level. Coming into our first, um, canter part of the exercise which is the canter zigzag where they have to half pass to the left fly and change on x half pass right and then they do a fly and change the other way i'd love to tell you what i'm doing through this bit but it's just happening so fast i'm just like oh my god do a half pass go straight do a fly and change do a half pass go straight do a fly and change it's it's come so quick and this is only the pre st george zigzag it gets worse gets worse guys he got six for that so six for the one in six for the one out here we made our first mistake um oh dear what's going on i just don't i'm just like so bad at pirouettes what basically happened was he came around the corner thought we was doing the extended canter went to zoom off i pulled him back pulled him too hard he walked anyway i <laughs> i brought him back to make sure that i do a clean fly and change so he actually got a two for the first pirouette, totally understandable. Seven for the fly and change. Four now for the second pirouette, just because he went um, hollow, which is a shame because it wasn't a bad pirouette. So if I could have actually kept him a little bit rounder, he would have got quite a good mark for that. So yeah, anyway, the fly and change by C, he got a seven, four. These fly and changes, I was so, so happy with them because I used to have real issues with the fours because he wouldn't wait for me, but he actually sat and listened and waited for me, which I was so, so happy with it got 6.5 for that could have got a better mark if it was a little bit straighter over here i was like i need more jump in the canter as for too much jump he did a fly and change which then ruined my line of threes well i say ruined my line of threes he actually did three three sorry oh my god these numbers he did five threes and he did them clean and nice and again they're a little bit wobbly but not terrible but he only scored a five for that because of the mistakes he made in the top corner so you know guys it Extended canter now, um, faded after X. So we got a six. So you can see that I like to do a big gallop and then I give up halfway, give up on life, give up on riding. I do a nice flying change though, so we got a seven for that. Down the center line, he like tried to zoom off as I turned because he's just like so, so excited. Um, then we come to X, halt him ability salute. The halt got a six because his quarters were left. But you know what, guys? I was happy with that. I was happy with that. Did you enjoy it? guys i so hope you've enjoyed that video um first of all i'm so sorry that i haven't put more videos out for vlogmas but i you know this is not my job job i do actually have to earn money so i'm finding it really hard to like film videos i think what i'll do next year is like pre pre-film stuff anyway i will have a few more out for you before christmas i promise there, there'll be at least at least two <laughs> anyway um i really hope you enjoyed it i know you guys like to see the um you know the voiceovers to think see what i'm thinking when i go to the test anyway i'm so so happy with leggy i know we're still not getting like massive scores in the pre st george but at the end of the day at this level at fei level it's so high that when you get a mistake or you do something wrong you know you really get penalized for it so like the mistakes i made i got like twos four and threes fours um so it really drops your score down but as i said in the voiceover you like honestly it's it's such a difficult test to ride i'm just so happy that i'm giving it a go and i don't feel terribly out of place when i'm doing it either so either either anyway um so i'm not gonna ramble on i so hope you enjoyed the video please give my page a like subscribe uh follow it put the bell you know what other youtubers say um yeah so anyway hopefully i will get some more videos out before christmas thank you for watching see you next time